Hello and welcome to the flipped instructional session on Unit 3, Lesson 7, Writing It Down. We're going to dig into the topic of Sumerians and cuneiform a little bit more. So just a reminder of two different places that you can go to access your lesson. You can go to your class plan and click on the lesson from there, or you can go to your content tiles at the top. You can click on unit three, scroll down to lesson seven and go ahead and click on that first blue link to get started with the lesson. And as always, don't forget to click on that lesson resources on the first slide to open up your student guide. Not only will you see your student guide in the lesson resources, but you'll see the objectives that you're going to go over for the lesson and any other materials that you need for the lesson. So as we are getting started, let's take a look at our objectives for this lesson. We want to be able to describe the development of the Sumerian system of writing, identify the earliest known system of writing, list examples of the advantages of having a writing system, and describe the role of scribes in the Sumerian society. So let's go ahead and take a look at our lesson introduction on screen one. Writing is so much a part of our lives that most of us take it for granted, but it was actually pretty tough for people to come up with a system of written communication. In fact, it took the Sumerian centuries to develop one, and it was so complex that very few people could read and write it, not even kings and priests. Literacy in Sumer, therefore, was confined to just one social class, a special group known as scribes. So you're going to access the Sumerian writing and enter your name to find out what it looks like in cuneiform. Um, we did that in our flip follow-up last week as well. So you can do that here in D2L as well. And also take a look. Anytime a word is bolded like this, you can always click on that and you can look at the meaning, the pronunciation and meaning of the word. So cuneiform, and it is an ancient Sumerian form of writing that used wedge-shaped marks. As we move on to screen two, we're going to explore cuneiform a little bit more. The development of the first writing system was an important achievement. Download the student guide and continue with the lesson to learn more about the development of writing. So let's open up the student guide, and as you can see, the first thing that it tells us to do is to check our reading. Um, review chapter 5 beginning from the beginning to the Epic of Gilgamesh. So pages 67 through 73 is what you're going to be reading, or you previously read that in Lesson 6, so review that. And then write a brief definition for these terms in your history journal. When you have finished, compare your definitions to those in the keyword section of this lesson. So just make sure that you have um, defined cuneiform and scribe and that you have those definitions jotted in your history notes. Then you will use what you know. For every challenge, there is usually a solution. Download the scribes challenge and match the challenges of inventing a writing system to the solutions that the Sumerians found. So go ahead and open that up. See how much you can fill out. We'll be doing this together in class as well. So like I said, in Lesson 6, you read Chapter 5, pages 67 through 73. So if you have not already read that, go ahead, pause the recording, and read that now so that you'll be able to go ahead and get started on the Scribes Challenge. Here is just a peek at what that Scribes Challenge looks like. So a list of challenges, and then match that up to the solution that the Sumerians came up with. And then you're going to explore writing it down. Find out more about cuneiform by visiting the website, the British Museum Writing. While you're at the museum, test your archaeological skills by piecing together fragments of ancient clay tablets. So go ahead and give that a try. When you finish, you can write a paragraph in your history journal, and that's just your notes, summarizing what you've learned. And if you have any questions, bring those to class with you. You may make some observations or have questions while you're taking a look at that website. So make sure you bring those to class with you as well. And here's just a, a brief overview of what that um, website looks like. And you can see on the left-hand side, the writing, you see story, explore, and challenge. Um, and so you can take a look through there and do some exploring. 
And last but not least, to finish up this lesson, you'll be taking the lesson assessment. You can do that now or you can do that after you've come to class. And class will dig in a little deeper and do some practice. Um, and so if you'd rather wait until after our flip follow-up session to take the assessment, you're welcome to do that. So just a quick lesson wrap up. Make sure that you read or review chapter five, pages 67 through 73. Complete the scribes challenge, take notes, and then visit that website and bring any questions you have to class with you. I will see you on the flip side. Make sure that you look for the flip follow-up session in your Class Connect schedule and attend that session to carry this topic into further practice um, and attend a help lab session for extra support if you have any other questions. Have fun and see you soon.